Greetings subscribers and other curious persons. I'm on holiday this week, although as you can probably judge from the background, this is more of a doing less of the things I usually do holiday than a getting away from it all and relaxing holiday. Uh, one of the things I have done with the theoretical free time is deliver a pile of leaflets for the Green Party. Now, I'm not going to try and convince you to vote Green in this video, however I will put a link in the description below so you can come to your own unbiased, completely unforced realisation that you should vote for them. But one of the things that delivering did remind me is how difficult some properties are to deliver to. So I thought I'd give a little request to make things easier for postal workers who have to do this kind of thing on a daily basis. Um, over the course of a couple of hours this afternoon, I fell over on wet leaves twice, walked down several flights of stairs that ended in flats that weren't actually flats, they were just bin storage areas, ended up with doors where I couldn't tell where to put the post, and discovered a number of properties where it was incredibly difficult to put the post through the postal slot. So a couple of suggestions for how you might make things easier for postal workers. Firstly, if you do have control over where your letterbox is sighted in the door, then consider putting it horizontally at about waist level because most people when they're delivering will have a bundle of stuff in one hand and they'll pick pieces up and want to insert them. Now if it's at waist level it naturally comes off where your hand goes through, your hand goes through the slot. But if you've decided to put your letterbox at ground level then they have to crouch down which makes things harder and if you put the letterbox vertically then instead of holding the flap open with one hand and then trying to post it through with the other which is a little bit awkward if you're holding a bundle of stuff and tangentially to that as someone who has the occasional draft come through his letterbox I can understand why you would want your letterbox flapping but don't necessarily need a spring that's impossible to force open. I encountered a couple of letterboxes where I had to use both hands to get it open, at which point you're there, both hands holding it open, and then you've got the letter in your teeth trying to put it through, and it's all very difficult. And then if you encounter one of those combined with it being vertical, you're there, hands holding it open to put it through, suddenly you've gone from delivering a letter to some sort of crazy calisthenics for Jedi exercise. Not the kind of thing you want to do regularly. And then once you've got the letterbox there, you have to consider how you get to it. And there were several flights of stairs that were sopping with water and wet leaves that I slipped on. Now, I'm not necessarily suggesting that you should protect yourself against the occupier's liability aspects of your stairs being unsafe for people to work down, although protecting yourself against lawsuits is a sensible course of action, but the common humanity aspect of if a postman slips and twists his ankle, then maybe he's going to be off sick, maybe he isn't. Either way, he's in pain trying to deliver a letter that you probably wanted. So do it for decency. But if, or if you do live down the bottom of a vertiginous flight of stairs, consider putting a post box at the top of the flight of stairs. There's every flight of stairs you save them going down 
it makes it easier for them to go round the route, makes it faster, makes them more cheerful. And given that you're probably going to be in and going in and out of your house at least once over the course of the day, it's not really a vast effort having to check the box. No, no much more effort than, say, trying to force your door open because a letter's got wedged under it when it fell through the letterbox. So it might even be in your interests not to have them come down the stairs and try and put it through the letterbox. And from the subject of being in your interest, if you don't want to do it out of sheer common humanity, then consider the fact that if your postman is cheerful, he's more likely to be helpful when it comes to delivering something that won't fit through your letterbox. So he'll buzz and wait a little bit longer for you to answer the door. Or if you're not answering the door, potentially put find somewhere safe to leave the package instead of just propping it up on your doorstep or taking it back to the sorting depot. And similarly, if you make it easier for your postman to deliver to your specific letterbox, he's less likely to decide that, well, if the post for your flat goes to your building, someone else in your flat can sort it out. So you'll put a little bit extra time into making sure that your post goes where you want it to be. So you don't find that the letter you're expecting has gone through a different letterbox in the same building and it's taken someone who lives upstairs a couple of days to get round to dropping it down. So it's in your interest to make it easy for your postman as possible. Uh, I can understand to a certain extent why you might not want to make it so easy for everyone else to deliver, but if you do, one other thing I encountered which was mildly irritating is often it's not clear which entrances are for which flats. So you get a four door buzzer with three of the buzzers marked up. Now does that mean that the fourth person hasn't put their name on the bell or does that mean that you got a four door buzzer because you couldn't find a three door buzzer and three of them are connected but the fourth one doesn't do anything. So maybe put a little note on to say this buzzer not in use so that people know that buzzing that or putting a fourth copy of something through the letterbox is a waste of time and resources. Similarly, maybe mark up that there is another flat downstairs so that people know that there is a separate entrance down there instead of having to crane round the corner to have a look. Save yourself the trouble of having your post delivered somewhere else. Well, that's my polite semi-rant over, so toodaloo for now.